So many dogs making their mark in the ring and so many others impactful in other ways. Let's meet another ACE Award winner. Ladies and gentlemen, now entering the ring are Mr. Lee Arnold and tonight's final ACE recipient. In the category of search and rescue, we have Ty, a German Shepherd dog owned by Melissa Fry of Southport, Florida. I'd like to introduce you to Melissa Fry and her beautiful German Shepherd named Ty. They are the ACE Award winners for Search and Rescue. And Melissa, Ty is really just something pretty incredible. He can detect cadavers and in the water. Absolutely, that is, um, water's actually a great conductor of scent for any search dog. But um, cadaver dogs are specifically trained to work off of boats and detect the scent as it comes up. It's the body gas is being released and they can detect those. So explain to us how the training for that works. Uh, the training is actually that we teach them to detect the scent. We do a scent association while on land and then we move them to the boat with the same process. When you first began training with Ty, it sounds like he actually had this in the bag. He knew what to do almost immediately. The dogs know before the handlers. That's the secret there is that it's always that way, that the dog is ahead of the handler. In Ty's case, he had a natural affinity towards the scent work. When we started training, we were actually doing our first one of our first searches. So we were on a training search where he was getting accustomed to being on the boat. And as it turned out, while we were out working, he started giving alert behavior that said that he was very aware of the fact that there was the smell and the scent of cadaver. And he also searches I I on land and other locations as well. Yes, he does. He does all kinds of land search. He also does disaster work so that if there's a collapsed building or something of that type, he will search for that as well. Ty's obviously had a big impact on the community. Tell us about the number of searches he's done. Ty is actually at about 64 searches for our community. He's been deployed 64 times. And I'm assuming that he gets some sort of a special prize or treat he when he does, does something well. He is extremely ball driven. So um, he likes to play with his ball. He's also a food driven dog. So he has a little bit of a combination, but his ball is his final reward. Fantastic. Well, Ty. Ty, what, come. Ty, what do you think if we go out for a steak dinner and maybe a little bit of tennis ball throwing? Does that yeah. sound good? Yeah. Oh, I think that's an absolute yes. Well, congratulations to both of you on thank your you. ACE Award. Thank you. We truly appreciate and it. And thank you for the great work you're doing in the community. Thank you. Thank you, Ty. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you the 2015 American Kennel Club Humane Fund ACE Award. Search and Rescue Dog recipient, Ty. Way to go, Ty, and Melissa Fry as well. Well, from an ACE Award winner to some flying aces of the dog variety, Christy Siefkin has the rundown on dock diving. I'm happy to be here with Steve Mize with North American Diving Dogs, and we've got the dock diving competition going on behind us. Now, there are a few different ways dogs can participate. Jumping for length is one of them, but what are Correct. the other ways? So we've got the length, which is our open splash. We measure to the base of the dog how far they actually...